गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सेकेंड सेशन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सिलेबस ऑफ आई पी एंड कंसेप्ट ऑफ नॉम पी एर ए इन कंटिन्यूशन टू द टॉपिक वर्किंग विथ नॉम पी एर ए टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट फॉर्म्स ऑफ नॉम पी एर एस एंड देन anatomy of numpy arrays so let us start first forms of numpy arrays in fact numpy arrays are also referred to as nd arrays that is n dimensional arrays or numpy data arrays when we consider about the forms of numpy arrays the numpy arrays comes in two forms first one one dimensional array and second one is multi dimensional array now one dimensional array basically one dimensional array has single row or column just like as vectors you can represent it either row wise or column wise we will discuss later now the second one is multi dimensional array multi dimensional array has multiple rows and columns just like as matrix if get it gets difficult to draw arrays with more than 3 dimensions but numpy allows to have as many dimensions as you want multi dimensional array means two dimensional array three dimensional array and many more now consider the following examples first one one dimensional array second one is two dimensional array so one dimensional array consists one row and multiple columns whereas second array consists two rows and three columns that is two dimensional and the third dimensional array consist three rows three columns and three plates once again now we will remind you numpy arrays come in two forms one dimensional and multi dimensional one dimensional arrays have single row or column while multi dimensional array have multiple rows and multiple column the two dimensional array third three dimensional array are a type of multi dimensional array now move to the next part and that is anatomy of numpy arrays numpy arrays come in various types shapes and sizes in this session we will look at different array parameters and learn the correct terms used by numpy the parameter used by numpy are axis rank shape size and also the data type data type we will discuss later today we will discuss about the basic parameters of the array that is axis rank shape and size one by one now the first parameter is axis now the question is what is axis the dimensions of the arrays refers to as 
axis. That means simply we can say dimensions are called axis. Axis are always numbered zero onwards for numpy arrays. Just consider the array given below. In first one dimensional array axis equals to zero. That means axis zero is the first axis and runs along the rows. The second one axis one. The axis one is the second axis and runs along the columns. So every new dimension added gets the next axis number. That is axis 0, axis 1, axis 2 and so on. Now <clears throat> the second parameter is rank. The number of axis in a numpy array is called its rank. That means the rank of an array is simply the number of axes or dimensions it has. Just consider the example given below. In one dimensional array, only one rows. So, it has rank 1. Isn't it? That means Rank 1 means one dimensional array consisting only rows. In second dimensional array or two dimensional array, there are two rows and three columns. And so that two dimensional has rank 2. Next, in third, third dimensional array, the third dimensional array has rank 3 because it has 3 planes, 3 rows and 3 columns. Now, consider the next parameter that is shape. The shape of an array specifies the length of the array in each dimension. It is usually represented as a tuple where number of elements on axis 0, axis 1, axis 2 etc. are stored as elements of shape tuple. For a given array, the number of elements in the shape tuple will be equal to the rank of the arrays. Once again consider the example given below. For one dimensional array shown below, the shape is 4 because it has 4 elements. Similarly, for array 2 that is 2 dimensional array shown below, the shape is 2, 3 because it has 2 rows and 3 columns. And lastly, the third dimensional array that is shown below, the shape is 3, 3, 3 because it has 3 planes each containing 3 rows and 3 columns. So we can say the shape is depended upon the length of the array in each dimension. Move to the next. The next parameter is size. Actually the size of an array is simply the total number of elements. And the size is calculated by multiplying together all the elements of the shape. For example, 
just consider array 1 so shown below it has four elements so its size is 4 similarly array 2 that is two dimensional array it has shape 2 by 3 so its size is 6 2 multiplies 3 that is 6 next is the third dimensional array the third dimensional array shown below has shape 3 by 3 by 3 so its size is 27 that means there are 27 elements in total in the third array so dear students today we will discuss about the parameter of the array that is axis rank shape and size so i think there is no any confusion about the understanding of the array next session we will discuss about the creating of one dimensional array and also the numpy array data type thank you and have a good day